This morning, I am going to be discussing step-by-step -step the online submittal and review process for planning and zoning applications. Today's agenda will be composed of the following items, type of applications available online, where to find the application, how to apply online, and process to obtain zoning approval card, development order, and letters. In this page, we have the type of applications that are available online, and I will mention some of them very briefly. We have a preliminary zoning verification sheet, request for address assignment, zoning verifications, zoning determinations, site plan review, variances, land use amendments, and rezone. On the next slide, we're going to go over where to find this application. I have included step-by-step -step where to go, and I am also going to show you guys. So I am in the City of Doral Planning and Zoning website. And where it says, I want to apply now, there's a series of application that you can pick uh, depending on whatever you want to, to apply for. I am going to go over the zoning verification letter today. Here's a zoning verification letter. The applicant will complete this application. I have already completed an application for myself that I will be completing and submitting through the CSS portal. Uh, the next slide is how to apply in CSS online. So the first step is to go to the uh, CSS website, which I'm already logged in, uh, create a citizen's access account, which uh, Jane and uh, Kenya has, have already touched on it. Log in to account, select apply, complete the application process, upload the permit application and all other required submittal documents that will be listed, and submit the request and receive confirmation. So let's go over now the process. So I am on the CSS portal. I'm going to go to apply all, and then I'm going to search for verifications, CZ zoning verification. All of our planning and zoning uh, application process will say PZ in front. So we go ahead and apply. An address is not required. It's required. I'm sorry. You can either do an address or a folio. We understand that in many occasions for this specific application, uh, we do not, the, the property does not have an address. So you could also type your folio. In this case, I'm gonna type the city of the raw address. And I'm gonna go ahead and add. Now that we have the, uh, address where we are requesting the zoning verification for, we can go to the next step and we're going to write, write a brief description of what we're asking for. Okay, you have included, I have included myself as, as an applicant, in this case as Kenya, and you can also add someone else. You, you have the ability to add the authorized agent, if there is an authorized agent, the contractor, uh, on-site contact, owner or owner's representative. In this case, I'm just gonna have the applicant. There's gonna be some general questions such as, will you like a physical copy? If you uh, click yes, uh, once the zoning verification has been reviewed and approved by one of our planners, you will receive a physical copy through mail. So in this case, I'm gonna put no. And the next question is gonna be, is this commercial or residential? I'm gonna pick commercial in this case. And then the next step is going to ask you for the application that we mentioned. In this case, the only required document is the application. However, if there's something else that you may want to include, you can do it under uh, other. So 
So here's the zoning verification letter that I completed. And I'm going to attach it and proceed. Now we will go ahead and sign. It's Kenya. And then in here, we're going to see all the information that we have previously added, the location, the basic information, the contacts, and the fees are also going to be here. There is also an hourly fee that will be added by the clerk once the application has been completed. And uh, the city of Doral will issue an invoice that will have to be paid before the verification appears online. So the next step, and we can see here the attachments, we see the zoning verification. The next, step, the next step will be to submit. We're not gonna do that because we do not want to create a record at this moment. And now I'm gonna go over very quick the, uh, the dashboard and how it populates. I'm gonna go over a pending application and I'm gonna go over an application that has been 100% completed. So let's go over the pending application first. So in here, you're going to see that it has been 20% completed. Uh, the zoning verification letter has been submitted. Upfront fees have been, has been paid. There's no fees at this moment. And the um, zoning verification is scheduled to be completed by 4-28-2021. Uh, once this uh, application is completed and approved by a planner, then the clerk will issue the final invoice, which will be for the hourly rate. Uh, the fees will be paid, and then we will make this application available online. Now I'm going to go over a complete application that has been processed, and it's 100% done. Okay, it's taking a little longer than expected. So in here you have all the information, the type of application, the status, which is approved, the uh, apply date, and the assigned to, the person that was assigned to. We have it 100% complete. We have the uh, one, any, one everything was done and completed. We received this application on April 2nd. The fees were paid on April 2nd. Uh, we processed the application on April 5th, the fees were paid on April 5th, and we issued a zoning verification on April 5th. If you go to where it says attachments, you are going to see the documents that were submitted by the applicant. This is the request, the requested letter, and this are other uh, information that was submitted. And then in here, you're also going to see uh, the zoning verification letter. And it's going to say under notes, it's going to say who it was done by in case you need to contact the planners or you have any extra questions for, for us. So I'm going to open it very briefly so you guys can see how it looks. And there it is. This is the letter completed and signed by myself <laughs> and all the exhibits as well available online. With this, I conclude my presentation. And if there's any questions or answer, uh, Jane, Kenya, and myself are here to address them. Looks like we've got a pretty smart crowd. I don't see any questions in the chat or the questions box. 